Resilience isn't about always being successful. In fact, it's actually about failing and it's about what you do after you have failed. Now, in order to learn, we need to fail. So say, for example, you came to school at the beginning of year six and you went into a maths lesson and the teacher said, what is one plus one? And you said two. And they came back that you came back the following week and the teacher said, what's one plus one? And you said two. Now, you're succeeding, you're successful because you're getting the answer right every time, but you're not actually growing. So in order to grow, in order to uh, achieve more, in order to learn, you need to be given problems to solve that are so difficult that you are going to get them wrong. Um, you're then going to have to work at them to get them right. Now, what's important is that you have the resilience to keep going. Let's see what this little wooden doll can teach us about resilience. to do everything that you can to knock your toy down. Who is the strongest in class? Jerome, come on up please. I'm going to give Jerome a prop and he's going to try to knock it off the table. Ready, Jaron? Okay, children, who can tell me what it means to have resilience? Yes, Paige? Resilience means if make the toy fall down, it'll come back up very, very fast. Very nice! The next story we're going to hear is that of somebody who really does show us what resilience is. And as we listen to the story and watch the pictures, I wonder if you can work out who this is. Every time you fail, that's an opportunity to learn and to get better. The only real failure is if you give up completely, and I'm sure you wouldn't do that. So keep going, and thank you for listening to this assembly today.